Tile maps and tile sets are often needed when making 2D games and this is also the case with Unreal Engine. In this video I'll show you the ins and outs of setting up tile sets and tile maps. While also talking about the issues and problems you should be aware of. The sad truth is that tile maps and tile sets are the most underdeveloped part of Paper 2D and are stuck in a perpetual beta state. Even when you look at the official documentation you can see that it warns you about this feature being in an experimental state. However this doesn't mean that we can't use them at all. It just means that we need to be aware of a few issues and work around them, which I'll tell you all about. I'll keep on using the project with the character we built over the last few episodes of this series. However you can also follow along with the blank project. The first thing you'll need is a PNG file of your tile map you want to use. If you don't know where to get these, you can check out the previous video talking about how and where to get free 2D assets with Unreal Engine. For this video I'll use the Oak Woods asset by Broloff. Just drag the tile set into the content drawer and apply Paper 2D Texture Settings. Right click it again and click on create tile set. Double click the tile set to open up the editor window. One thing I need to mention is that the editor for the tile set and tile map are a bit unstable and can cause crashes with Unreal. I'll believe the tile map editor which we'll talk about in the next step is more so affected by this than the tile set editor we just opened up. But I thought I'd mention it just in case. For most people these crashes only occur when closing the tile set or tile map editor though. So if you encounter that issue a simple workaround is to just always keep these two editor windows open. The first thing we need to do here is set the correct tile size. The default setting here is 32 by 32 but if we click anywhere on the texture you can see that the size of the white box doesn't match up with the desired tile size. Most asset creators will write the tile size somewhere on the asset page and in this case 24 by 24 is correct. If your asset doesn't list the tile size you'll have to experiment with the value and figure it out yourself. The main purpose of the tile set editor is that it allows us to set up collision for our tiles. Not all of your tiles will need collision, but your walls and floors will need collision for sure. Select the top left floor tile and click on add box to add a box collision. You can now see this box on the right side indicating the collision area. However if we click on another tile it's very hard to see which tiles have collision and which ones don't. You can click on colliding tiles to show a blue indicator on all tiles that have collision set up. You might also have some tiles with different shapes where a box collision just won't do it. Here we can use the add polygon button. This will give you a tool where you can place vertices and create your exact desired shape. When you're done making your shape press the enter key to save it. When you mess up and want to delete the last vertice you can press the backspace key. One thing to keep in mind is that you want to place your vertices from right to left. If you start on the left side you get some weird shape that doesn't close correctly. There are also some cases where you might need the add circle button to create round shapes. Another interesting option is the additional texture setting. This will allow you to add a normal map to your tile map to improve the lighting on them. If you don't know what that means you can check out this video where I use normal maps on a character to create edge lighting. Border margin and per tile spacing are things you usually don't have to touch. But they can help you prevent tile tearing. Which is something we'll talk about later on. Now that we have collision set up for a couple of our tiles we can move on to the next step. Go back to the content drawer and right click the tile set. Click on create tile map. Double click it to open it up. This is the tile map editor. Its main purpose is to allow us to use the tile set we created before as a brush and draw a map to use in our game with it. You'll first want to confirm that the tile width and tile height are the same we set in our tile set. But usually this will be set automatically. You can select single tiles from your tile set and draw them. But you can also select multiple tiles at once and use them as a brush. Right now our map is really small. The default value is 4x4 as you can see here. You can easily adjust that to fit your needs. However, sadly the tiles we've already drawn won't automatically move and adjust to the new size since they're always anchored to the top left. We can however hold the shift button to bring up the select tool which allows us to copy a brush from the tile map.
Then we can just place it at the new desired location. And use the erase tool to delete the tiles on the left. You can practice drawing a little bit more by just completing the round layer. In the top right you can see a layer menu. We can first rename this layer to main. And then press on plus to add another layer for the background. We can just select this brown tile as the base background tile and then use the fill tool to fill out the entire layer. Then we can use some of the background variation tiles to give it a bit of flair. By the way, if you want to know even more about tile maps and how to make 2D games with Unreal Engine 5, I just recently released my new 13 hour course on how to make a 2D action platformer in Unreal Engine. We'll make a full game similar to the Mega Man series and also create an entire stage using tile maps, so please check out the discount link in the description. We now want to start using this tile map. Create a new level and select empty level. Now just drag the tile map into the scene. Here you need to make sure that you're looking at it from the right direction. We now want to place our character on this tile map. However, it's very hard for us to understand where our floor collisions begin and end. You can click the Show Collision button and you should then be able to see the collision boxes. And yes, you're seeing correctly, the collisions here are actually happening in 3D space. When looking through the documents and options, it seems that they were working on 2D space collision, however it was never completed and turning that on isn't recommended. You can also adjust the collision thickness here in this menu. And also the distance your layers are separated from each other. We can then add a player start to allow our character to spawn. Again, if you don't have a character yet, you can check out the previous video in this series or just keep on watching without following along for now. You may also see the camera getting way too bright. We also fixed this in the previous episode, however now the camera is attached to the character and we need to set this again. Open up the character blueprint and find the camera. Look for metering mode and set this to manual. Then set exposure compensation to a value around 10 or 11. To fix the size issues we need to open up the tile map and change the pixel per unit setting. We previously set this to 0.25 in the project settings for the character, however this sadly does not apply to tile maps. So we'll set it to 0.25 manually. This will then instantly increase the size of our tile map in the scene. And our character now perfectly fits into the scene. When working on your levels, you'll frequently have to update your tile map, so let's do that to show you an issue you might run into. Let's just assume that we want to remove the collision of the floor tiles. We can do that by selecting the tile, scrolling down to collision data and hitting the trash bin icon. But even when you play the game now, you can see that the collision is still active. The change from the tile set is not applied to the tile map. To do that, we need to hit the refresh maps button. And you can see it's applied now. But since our floor definitely should have collision, we can just add the box collision back in and hit refresh map again. I just wanted to show you this issue and how you can fix it. Another issue you might run into is tile tearing. I personally have rarely encountered this issue, but there are quite a few viewers who asked about this. The simplest way to fix this is to just right click your tile set and select condition tile sheet texture. This will create a new texture which will be used instead of the one we imported. You can also see in the tile set how this changed the per tile spacing and border margin settings. If you're still having issues, you might be able to fix them by adjusting these values even further. By now you might have noticed that this workflow isn't the greatest and the dire state the time map editor is currently in will become more and more apparent the more you work with it. This is definitely good enough for very simple games and looking at the Siege and the Sandfox you can see that really advanced games levels can also be created with this. However, since Unreal Engine is very modular and expandable, you could actually dig through the code and create your own and improved tile map editor. 
There is a great video by Rocky Mullet where he talks about the issues with the Tilemap editor and how he created his own version with auto tiling and automatic map size updates. This is something I haven't looked into too much myself yet, but is something I definitely want to try out and talk more about in the future of this channel. Congratulations on finishing the Paper 2D Basics tutorial series. This should give you a deeper understanding of many different aspects of Paper 2D and I hope this will help you make bigger and better 2D and 2D 3D hybrid games with Unreal Engine. Now you should have the base knowledge you need to follow a lot of my other tutorials, so please check out the other videos on this channel and try some project related tutorials. Huge thanks to my patrons for making this tutorial series possible.